All right, welcome to our uh, Phonaton call center in Watertown, Massachusetts. This is one of three call centers for our annual fundraising, the other two being in Detroit, Michigan, and uh, New York City. And uh, we are off to a very good start uh, as uh, we have just received a pledge in the amount of $5,000 from the uh, Knights of Vartan Ararat Lodge. Linelov, New York, Yev Boston. Ein Hamos Munkone, Vorka, Ein Handa Varutsuna, Vorum Menkun Etzeling, Inisuna Gantova Kanerin. Yevuzume Mimshnoa Kalutsun Heitnel Bolorin. Aisor Bolor, Patrasta Kamutsun and Heitnel Masnak Celu, Arsahi, Arachin Hertin Shushi Vera Garus Mangors and Tatsi. Today, with thousands of volunteers across the world helping out to ensure the well being of Armenians' future. It's time for all of the world to recognize that while Armenia and Karabakh has a population of 3 million confined within physical borders, that Armenian nation exists alive and strong with 10 million citizens across the world. While diverse in background, they are bound together by their pride, by their church, by their history, and their vision of a better future as an Armenian nation. We cannot be free to dream or free to live unless we are free of poverty and misery. That is why 2009 is year of sushi. And our goal is to make sure that the historic lands that we sacrificed 10,000 lives for will remain ours and free forever. As a member of the diaspora living in the US, it's very difficult to connect to Armenia and remember that Armenia is more than you know eating dolma and drinking surch here in Boston and the best way to do that is to participate in Armenia's development. It's a very exciting time for Armenia. Um, it's grown faster than any other post-Soviet country and a large part that's because of the work that the diaspora has done and because of the work Armenia Fund has done. Traveling from Yerevan to Stepanagert, as I did two years ago with my family, we drove on the roads that Armenia Fund built. There's no way that Karabakh could have the status that it does, the economic position that it does, without the work that Armenia Fund has done. And that's why I take great pride in working with Armenia Fund as a volunteer. These young people touched my heart and my soul. When you can see a new Armenian generation in Boston, how they involved and how they encouraged all Armenians to support Karabakh, to support Shushi, it's amazing. God bless them.